for that movie oh. in particular, do you remember any of the backgrounds that you did work on? Sure. Uh, yeah, that was, uh, I guess, let's see, that was 2020, 2021. So um, there was a number of uh, like prison environments mm -hmm. that I remember particularly working on. Um, there was more of a stylization in it, um, trying to adhere to the old Scooby-Doo style from, from way back, you know, 40 plus years ago. Um, the difference, um, a good example of like the difference, uh, going back to your, your question there, JB, the difference was that in pencil and paper, the, the style would adhere because a lot of the artwork you would, um, when they would be painting those designs, that would be directly in the painting. Um, with with the digital, sometimes um, the designs are more of a guide, and and then the paint goes right on top of that. So it, it's it's a little bit of a push pull on that. Uh, the, the particular elements of it um, was more of the, the fact of having instead of more of a line drawing kind of a feel, it was a little bit more of a calligraphy kind of a feel in in the, in the line quality where kind of thick and thin kind of uh, kind of quality like an ink pen. So it was a little bit more of that uh, heavier blacks in some of the areas. Uh, so little nuances like that just on the technical end. So uh, beyond that, I mean, with with doing the project, it was it was pretty much just focusing on making sure that it was consistent with the other designs that had already been done for that particular project.